Okay. It's the 26th of February. And this is the beginning of my video recordings from basically going, I say couch, but really is it couch? You know, I've been working out for four and a half years, but it's all been strength training. So I'm going to say couch in the area of cardio and endurance fitness. So today I registered um, for the Heisen 105 Ultra Marathon race, which is super exciting, but super scary. And I'm not doing the 105, but I am doing the 50K Ultra Trail run. Um, the reason why I have committed to this is because I needed the next best thing to stretch me. In the world of bodybuilding, I entered that for personal development uh, to see what I'm capable of, how much I can push myself. And, you know, five shows later, um, there is an ease to the process now. So I realized that in order to get uncomfortable again, I need the next best thing, um, the next big thing to test me physically, um, but mainly my mindset. So today being the 26th of February, I have just paid my entry fee into the Heisen 105 Ultra Marathon Series. So I will definitely keep you updated. I really want to document this journey. Um, I really love looking back on on all of my journeys that I documented. So I will be sharing this with you all and yeah, and all the stages. So I completed week two of my training plan last week. I have um, all my own coaching, all my own training and everything. Um, so my training split kind of looks like four days of strength training, um, two uppers, two lowers one day of mobility and full body functional movement training and i have a weekly target of kilometers that i want to hit each week and i will be you know obviously growing that as i go on um because yeah cardio has never been a strong suit of mine but here i am registered it's full commitment now um, whenever i put money on the line or something i always do it but I'm really, really excited to see just how far I can push myself, um, the things that I can work through in my mind, and just how tough my body can get and how strong um, it can get in a different way of movement. So, yes, so today kicks off day three of training, uh, day week three of training. Um, but essentially I'm going from zero cardio to in October, it will be a 50 K ultra marathon run to see what I'm capable of. <laughs> and I won't lie, like this is scaring the shit out of me. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I hope you come along for the journey as I will be documenting the whole process. <music>
just finished my 30th K for the week. So did a 6K run today. Um, my weekly target was 30K, so all done. Five strength trainings completed and I'm off to see the sports physio shortly just to have a check, preventative maintenance. Okay, it is Friday, week one of documenting my ultra um, training and journey, but week three of training, I guess. Um, one second, my dog. Squiddy wants to come up and say hi. So yeah, this week uh, training has looked like for me uh, Monday to Friday strength session. So two upper, two lower, and one full body slash mobility session. Um, I had a total of 30 Ks to get in. Um, I just got back from my last run. Um, the longest run this week was 11 Ks. And I also did some stair climbing just to get start getting used to moving up and down. Um, but yeah, feeling really, really solid, feeling strong. Um, so yeah, Saturday, Sunday is going to be rest day. Nutrition wise, um, I haven't put on any weight, haven't lost any weight, which is good, but I am really aware of fueling up on like extra food. So at the end of my reverse, um, I got to ask 2,700 to maintain. So I'm sort of sitting anywhere between 2,500, 2,700 on uh, just normal days and then for the long run I try and get in at least three to four hundred extra carbs at that day or sometimes I don't feel hungry after a long run so it might come the next day but yeah just getting those foods in um, but yeah really really enjoying the process everything consuming as much um, information podcast documentaries i found i've got a real hard on for sally mcrae um what a phenomenal athlete um definitely someone that i can look up to um being built a lot more solid with a lot more muscle and to see her achieve what she does is really really uh inspiring to me um especially because i've always had that narrative in the background that you know i'm just not built like an endurance athlete so yeah, I am um, five days of training coming into two rest days. All my strength training workouts have been completed. All my runs have been completed. My 30 Ks for the week has been completed. And in another couple hours, I'm off to a sports physio. Not because I'm really, uh, anything's really wrong, but more so to get in front of anything. So um, preventative maintenance, I guess you could call it especially considering I've got some sore knees um, and yeah my back's a bit funky uh, when I carry my pack so just want to get a tune up um, and troubleshoot anything that could potentially cause problems down the track um, so yeah off to see my new sports physio um, very soon but yeah amazing week of training I'm absolutely loving this journey so it's all good Hey guys, car park chats, car park chats. Today I went and saw a sports physio to just get a basic one over. I've changed my training routine up a lot. Um, I'm now running a lot, uh, 30Ks this week, 35Ks last week, and you know I will be gradually increasing that. So I knew there was a lot of new stress on my body, so I wanted to get in beforehand and just make sure that my body's op operating at its optimal. Anyway, I had a huge injury um, accident just before Christmas. Basically, I fell in between the jetty and the boat and smashed myself up pretty hardcore. Uh, my knees and especially my rib, I think I cracked my rib in that, um, but I really fucked up my knee in that injury. Anyway, so I've been working through that. I've got a high pain threshold and I can work through discomfort quite well so I've just been working around it but I did find out today that there's still a lot of inflammation there bursitis now as well so as I've been working uh, walking running training my kneecap has actually been pushed to the side and it's been out of alignment so it was an awesome reminder today to you know just get that preventative care in before things get too bad 
um, you know, did a lot of work. I've had a lot of needles in me and I am feeling great, feeling very sore, but I'm really happy I got that done. So this is your little reminder to get in before shit gets too bad.